In health news tonight, a new treatment to help save patients after a life-threatening rupture. And we're talking about an abdominal aortic aneurysm. It strikes men four times more often than women. News States medical reporter Jocelyn Memento with the latest on what doctors can do to intervene to save more lives. When we talk about aneurysms, what probably comes to mind is a brain aneurysm. The abdominal aortic aneurysm occurs in the abdominal area, in the lower part of the aorta, the major blood vessel which supplies blood to the body. Now when it bursts, it can be deadly. Carl Marsden is getting a good look at. Mr. Marsden, this is your aneurysm here. His abdominal aortic aneurysm. He was at a high risk of rupture because his was around uh, above six centimeters, which is about the, the size of a coffee mug, the base of a coffee mug. That was before vascular surgeon Dr. Jeff Indies operated on him at Yale New Haven Hospital. It's a weakening in the wall of the artery, and uh, as a result of that weakening, the artery bulges out and causes what's called an aneurysm that can actually rupture. Basically, it was get this thing straight because this is a five minute bleed out. You know, if it goes, it goes all over the place. Lucky for Carl, Dr. Indies was able to repair it before rupturing. This is made of Gore-Tex. Using the latest stent graft, now small enough to navigate through most anyone's abdominal aorta. Once it's inside we, and we open it up, we position it into place uh, just above the aneurysm. And once it's open, these, these silicone rings here create a seal. And it seals the aneurysm from the, uh, from the blood flow. Uh, so it essentially prevents it from rupturing. And once you depressurize the aneurysm, the aneurysm actually shrinks. That's exactly what is happening to Carl's aneurysm. Something must be taking place because the body is much more comfortable. The biggest benefit of this actual procedure is that we are able to treat 40% more patients that we were previously unable to treat due to their anatomy. Patients like Carl also avoid open surgery, a procedure with a higher risk. First of all, I never knew it was there, and neither did anyone else until they took a picture of something else. Carl's lighthearted outlook. You take a picture of the junkyard, you're gonna find a lot of rusty parts. That's what happened. Helps get him through the unexpected. Yale New Haven Hospital is taking part in a post-market FDA approval study analyzing the effectiveness of the stent graft Dr. Indies used to repair Carl's aneurysm. Dr. Indies recommends an abdominal ultrasound screening for people more at risk. I'm talking about men over 60 years old who've smoked more than 100 cigarettes over their lifetime with a family history. Jocelyn Mementa, News 8.